Hey guys, Toast here. I'm honestly pretty shocked at how No Man's Sky has been handled since release, and it's frustrating enough to me that I want to be able to vent about it for a couple minutes. I'll be the first to admit that I was 100% on board with the hype train as it gained momentum and was super excited to get my hands on the game when it released. It was a day one purchase for me and I knew with almost absolute certainty that the game was going to blow my mind. Fast forward to now and I haven't even touched the game since about two weeks after release. For a game that I was so excited about, never in my wildest dreams would I have imagined that I'd be bored or frustrated by it that shortly after it came out. And I wasn't alone. Thousands upon thousands of people expressed their discontent with the game's repetitive nature, shallow mechanics, and proven removal of both content and a massive amount of complexity of the base game systems. In fact, a Reddit post by one user went into detail by providing backup on each piece of the puzzle that had once been touted for the game that was no longer present. And yes, content gets cut from games all the time for various reasons, but it's almost always on a smaller scale and not normally as noticeable from what was teased to what arrived. But you know what, Sean Murray had been really communicative with everything throughout the process. Hello Games will most certainly fix and add all those things quickly, right? Or at the very least, address people's frustrations that have been anything but unfounded, right? Wrong. I wish I could sit here and say that Hello Games saw the error of their ways, and that they apologized for misleading their audience, and that it was never their intention. That much of the content that we had seen previously was on the way, and they were just working out the kinks. But no. Instead of communicating with those who purchased their product, instead of acknowledging the issues that were arising, instead of laying out a long-term plan to help people justify their purchase, they went silent. The last tweet from Sean Murray's Twitter account was on August 18th, only six days after the PC release of the game, that said, quote, We're totally focused on customer support right now. Then we'll move on to improving and adding features to the game, unquote. Since that tweet, not a single word has come out from them in regard to what, how, and when we can expect something. Anything. Since then, the only update we've seen was on September 2nd, and this is coming from the PC perspective, as that's the platform on which I purchased the game. And that update included bug fixes and game tweaks, but no mention of anything new. On that same day, Hello Games released their quote-unquote development update, which said, Over the last few weeks since No Man's Sky released, we've been inundated with feedback and discussion about No Man's Sky. No matter what feedback you gave us, you have been heard, and we are listening carefully. Thank you. And then, silence. Nothing more regarding any updates since then. Now I want to clarify that I understand that making modern day games is an extremely complex process involving writing millions of lines of code, QA testing, marketing, bug fixing, etc. And I know that fixing a game of the scope of No Man's Sky is no small feat. But in current times, thanks to the power of the internet and social media, communicating something to a large audience is really simple, especially when that audience is waiting for that communication. So while I can excuse the fact that no new content has been pushed out for the game yet, I absolutely cannot excuse the fact that there's been no communication about it. A single sentence saying we're working on X, Y, and Z content and hope to have a patch out for testing in the next 8-10 to 10 weeks is really all that most people who are still interested in the game want at this point. We just want to know what's being worked on and when they anticipate it being available. Most of us aren't asking for hard dates or very specific details of exactly how things are changing, we just want to know that Hello Games still cares and that they're going to make good on their promise for a game that will blow our minds. We want justification of the $60 price tag that most of us paid for this game, and to know that Hello Games didn't just release a $20 game with a $60 price tag with no hope of anything changing in the future. For a game studio with such a significant spotlight on them, is that really so much to ask? Now I think we're in a position where one of two things is going to happen. I think that either A, Hello Games will soon be releasing a significant content update that reinstates many of the lost pieces of content and they're waiting to do a big announcement regarding this, or B, they aren't going to make good on much of what was lost and are maintaining radio silence in the hope that the frustration and negative attention toward the game dissipates and that they can go on their merry way. I really hope that the latter doesn't end up being the case. But what do you guys think? Do you think that Hello Games will ever come back and redeem themselves, or do you think they've given up? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, please leave a like, and if you want to see more content, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, this is Toast, and I'll talk to you soon.